Hello everyone, Seymour Better here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and this week I had two people get the invisible bifocal for the first time. It also goes by the name Progressive, it goes by the name No Line Bifocal, Multifocal, Invisible Trifocal, Invisible Bifocal. It goes by a lot of names but it does uh, the same thing. Now interestingly enough I had people get the same frame and the same size um, with the same lens from different parts of the country. That rarely happens. But I want to show you how to wear a progressive for the very first time. Now, I am not an artist. So I won't, keep, I won't quit my day job. That's not the shape of the lens. However, that's exactly what your eye looks like to other people. <laughs> no, so, now, it's also it's a multifocal because as you look downward it changes the power in the lens it has one just like a big telephoto lens on a camera the way you can zoom them in and out a progressive does the same thing by the way let me start off by saying single vision lenses hence the name single has one power all over it doesn't matter where you look you have the same power north south east and west on the lens a progressive lens has different powers and my sales pitch for the progressive is it's two things they cost more and you're gonna hate them how's that for a sales pitch now they do call they cost more because they do more they don't have just one power they have multiple powers all over the lens the reason why you're gonna hate them is because everything we do at our age when I say we anyone over the age of 40 bifocals are the 40 year virus that's the time the normal the average person's eyes cannot accommodate up close. Accommodate means to zoom in to see something up close. When you were a kid, you could see your fingerprint. Now it's just blurry. So we start to play trombone. We start to hold things farther and farther away until our arms aren't long enough and we have to have magnifying lenses. So the average reading power, well, we'll get to that. Well, let's do it now. The average reading power is the very bottom of the lens. That's designed to work at 16 to 20 inches. For most people, that's elbows touching your side, arms bent at a right angle. Remember, we used to hold things right here to read them, the newspaper or anything else. That's the very bottom of the lens. Now, you'll see I'm wearing them myself. I have the invisible bifocal in my lenses. I'm wearing the Essilor Ideal Advanced. I'm an Essilor guy, but I can get you Shamir. I can get you any other type of lens all the way up to the Verilux X. So just let me know. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm an Essilor guy. All my lab equipment is Essilor. So, but the full strength of the reading is the very bottom. If you've bought over-the-counter reading glasses, those are single vision. You will have the same power all over. Now, when you look down, that's what you have in your reading glasses. And again, that's designed to work at 16 to 20 inches. If you were trying to thread a needle or get a splinter out of your finger, that's about where you would hold things. So, just above that is the intermediate range which is arms reach and that's to be about 24 to 30 inches for most people that's arms reach that's if you're doing anything on a counter with an outstretched arm i went from a bent elbow to an outstretched arm cutting vegetables cooking doing anything on the workbench that is just below your pupil in the frame it's called a progressive lens because as you look downward it progressively gets stronger and stronger just like if you're in the shallow end of a swimming pool and you started walking down the grade as as you got deeper towards the the deep end as it gets deeper and deeper the lens gets stronger and stronger the stronger it gets the closer you're forced to hold something so the intermediate range is half the power let's see let's just say the bifocal strength is a plus two that's the add it means in addition to what's up top for the distance but the intermediate range would be half that. That would be about a plus one to roughly one and a quarter. That's what most people need at arm's reach. If they need a plus two here, you need just half that power or just over half that power at arm's reach. Now, whatever you cannot, this is good for that intermediate range, whatever you cannot touch, now that I can no longer touch that, that is the whole top half of the lens from your pupil up. That's the easiest to get adjusted to. That's your distance and follow my head movements because you naturally just look up to see far away. That you've been doing your whole life. Figuring out is it 16 inches or 30 inches. Again, 16 to 20, 24 to 30. I call it the bobblehead syndrome. I know I'm moving my head. Hopefully this doesn't mess with everyone. But is it 16 inches? Is it 30 inches? 
So that's why the first week, that's why you're going to hate them. You're going to try and find that sweet spot. That's why I call it the bobblehead syndrome. You're going to move your head up and down to find what makes everything clear. Now this is at eye level. So for me to see it clearly, I have to raise my chin up to get to the intermediate portion of my lens. I'm looking over the top of that for the distance. So to see here, I have to slightly raise my head up to see that print clearly. To see right here, I have to move it up even more to see what's in my hand. So again, it's all with head movement. Now, your best vision is always going to be through the center of the lens. Now, anyone out there with high astigmatism, this is where that's actually going to benefit you because you've always been forced to look through the center of your lens. When you look through the edges, there's just going to be areas of distortion. So anyone with high astigmatism, even if it's been single vision with the same power all over, you've been forced to look through the center of your lens as you get to the outer corners. Now, I'm moving my head. But if I'm just moving my hands like they were my eye, when you get to the outer left side of a lens or the outer right side, it's just not going to be as clear in the center. That's the same thing with a progressive. You have to look through the center of the lens. So use your nose like it's a laser pointer. Point your nose up and down to your left and your right in order to see clearly. Even an 8x11 piece of paper, which this is, if you were holding something that had print going all the way across, you would have to look at your left thumb, point your nose at your right thumb. Now, single vision reading glasses, you can move your head essentially left and right. Now you're going to have, or you can move your eyes from left to right and everything will be in focus. For progressives, I'm pointing my nose at my left thumb and now I'm pointing it at my right thumb to see everything clearly. That's why you're going to hate them the first week. But I tell everyone, it's like you've been driving an automatic your whole life, an automatic car, and then you have to put your car in the shop and they give you a loaner stick shift. Well, for the first week, you're going to be very self-conscious about shifting gears. At the end of the week, you're going to shift gears without even thinking about it when you're driving a manual stick shift. Same thing with progressives. You're going to do that bobblehead syndrome up and down, left and right, and it's going to seem very awkward. So I tell everyone, think of your favorite four-letter word and mutter it to yourself several times during that, or out loud, depending on the company you're with, but it's only natural. This, when it comes down to it, a progressive lens is a work tool. It just happens to be a fashionable work tool you wear on your face, but that's it. Everyone else in life, think of software they, they use on the computer or any other tool they use on their job or anything else. What was it like on the very first day you tried to use that tool? It took you about a week for most people to learn how to master a tool. That's what progressive lenses are. So don't give up after 20 minutes. Trust me, I'm as impatient as they come. I bought the Rosetta Stone. It cost me about $300. And I feel like I should be fluent in Spanish because I paid for it. My wife tells me I have to take it out of the package, put it in the computer, and study it for hours every day to become fluent. I don't have the patience for that. Same thing with progressives. If you don't have the patience, you won't like that. Everyone out there who went, now you could always go to a line style bifocal if you don't have the patience. A, bifo, a line style bifocal is just this. It has that little sideways D segment in there. I don't know if you can see that if I draw on the lens. Now these are my computer glasses. I have the computer power in the top and the full strength of the reading in the bottom. Now, I use this for right here. I can't drive or watch TV, but when I want to see my computer screen without having to move, and I can turn, this does have a wider field of view. Now, with the pros come the cons. It does have a wider field of view for, the, for this distance and for reading. However, I can't watch TV. I can't drive with them. If I have to stand exactly this far from the screen to be able to see it, now I, I dial this in for my prescription. I can only, now this is also a very strong reading, so if I'm trying to tighten a black screw in a black frame, I want to be able to see it. Anything beyond arm's reach now is blurry with this pair, but that's what I have these at, but that's the line style bifocal. So yes, it's going to give you a wider field of view for just the distance. Now you can also make it just the computer distance like I did. Um, or I can do just the driving, uh, yeah, driving and television distance in the top, your computer distance here, or the full strength of the reading here for 16 inches. Bifocal means two. It only has two powers. Multifocal, progressive, means it has unlimited powers. 
everything from miles away all the way down to 16 inches so be patient give yourself about a week again it took me I trained people for a living and it still took me about two days to get used to it I got mine let's say at nine o'clock on a Monday morning by Tuesday evening when it was time to go home I was telling my co-workers at the time you know what I'm starting to get used to these things the, uh, the old timer that I apprenticed with when he got his first pair now he refused to wear his all the time so it literally took him a month he would go back from his single vision reading glasses to progressives to distance but once he finally got used to it he said I'll be damned these things really do work I see why we sell so many of them <laughs> and I just laughed to myself but people be patient give yourself a week cuss if you have to but just remember now I'm competitive so what I did is all those little old ladies at church who could wear these this is a tool now forgive me for saying so but I feel like I can use a tool better than those little old ladies at church so if they could figure out how to do it I should be able to figure out how to do it now having said that there's a tool in the kitchen called an oven there's no way I can use that tool better than those little old ladies at church it's gonna take me some years of practice and again I'm just impatient so but this is something that takes time most people some take people take to it like a duck to water if you do you can ignore this video you don't have to worry about it everyone else again that bobblehead syndrome remember if something in at arm's reach at your computer on your desk or in your hands if it's not in focus nine times out of ten it's raising your chin that's what I'm doing I'm raising my chin up to get my my fingers in focus here now the one time out of ten you need to lower your chin all the way stairs steps curbs escalators let's take the screwdriver throw it on the floor now the normal glance when you get to a curb or a step you glance down through the bottom of the lens now when you look through the bottom of the lens you're using the full strength of the reading objects in mirror look closer than they appear so it looks magnified it looks blurry I cannot touch a curb or a step or the screwdriver from while I'm here so I have to tuck my chin in towards my chest and now it comes into focus when I'm using the top half of my lens I can see again I'm using this top half when I look downward and the screwdriver is in focus the curb the step the escalator so the first week use the railing on a flight of stairs everyone will tell you talk to friends family co-workers they'll tell you that was the hardest thing going up and down stairs with any type of bifocal the line style bifocal or the multifocal but again drop your chin towards your chest that forces you to only look through the top half of the lens and when you do that's the distance let me pick that up so I don't forget it so that's it remember be patient you're not the first person to have to go through this every single person including me every optician every any profession over the age of 40 now myopic people who are heavy minuses it's going to take them to about 50 years old most people you can look at this at 40 all these Millennials who spend so much time on tablets and cell phones they're gonna go into them as early as 33 I've seen so the late 30s Millennials are gonna to have to go into progressives even quicker so use this as a guide to go through again the very bottom of the lens is reading that's the full strength of the bifocal above that is the intermediate zone known as the computer or anything at arm's reach and then whatever you can't reach is the top half of the lens so thank you for watching if you if you follow the instructions that I told you and just be patient take a pause take a breath again you are not the first person to go through this every it's not a question of if but when you learn how to use this keep in mind this is a work tool I know you spent a few hundred dollars on these things just like I did with Rosetta Stone you wanted to work instantly on day one I was not fluent in Spanish still not by the way don't give up on progressives the way I gave up on the Rosetta Stone you will have you will be fluent at the end of a week unlike the Rosetta Stone I still don't know Spanish although I've learned as much as I need to know uno mas margarita por favor <laughs> that seems to get the, the job done merci uh, excuse me um um gracias so <laughs> all right so that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions you can email me directly at free prescription lenses at gmail.com or click the contact me button on the website anyone else watching leave a question or comment if you have advice on how to get used to it you can if you never get used to it 
you have to have three pairs of glasses one for distance one for computer intermediate range anything at arm's reach and then one glasses for reading that's three pairs of glasses you can wear around your neck or you can get used to the progressive so thanks for watching let me know if i can be any more help thanks again